Good morning, Hot Chocs, and welcome back to my channel. I'm in the same outfit on my Monday through Friday like workout vlog, but I'm heading to Pilates. I've got my blue leggings, my cute white sports bra, my Pilates socks with slides on. Let's go. Okay, let's get you fed because I gotta go. Come on. Remember that. I'm doing a full coat today because it is cold out this morning and I don't want to freeze, so. Let's go. Be good, my love. out with their dogs this morning <laughs> and it scared the crap out of me because they're like so quiet and they're everywhere and I'm like whoa also it's 36 degrees this morning a good class. I'm glad I did 1.0 to come back because wowzers. But I'm going to go get a coffee, like a really small one, and we're going to drink lots of water with it, and we're going to see how it goes because I need a little caffeine. Do I have my sunnies? Yes. You might see this clip literally twice because I might put it in <laughs> this one and in my other one. I think we're just gonna do iced coffee instead of cold brew though, because it's cold brew. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Duncan. Somebody will be right with you. Hi, what can I get served for you? Hi, can I get a. Oh, what's that? Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, Sidetracked. Can I get a small cinnamon vanilla coffee, iced? Okay. And that's all. Already go to Thank you. Thank you. Trying something new today. <laughs> it's only like I think 150 calories for a small. The medium was 200. Uh, thank you. You too. I'm so excited, you guys. It. This looked really, really good. Not bad. I can definitely taste the cinnamon. Oh, this is pretty good. So this is the small ice cinnamon vanilla latte. It's two shots of churro syrup, two shots of vanilla, and two shots of cream. It said the medium was 200 calories, so the small has to be less. Or maybe not. Maybe it's like the same amount of shots, but just in a smaller container. Either way, I don't ever drink the whole thing, so. Yum! Let's head home, shall we? You guys, I love my setup. Here, let me get far back. Like, how freaking cool. These screens look sick. 
I love my screen setup. The only thing is my screen used to be low enough to where I could set this on it. Now it's not, <laughs> but I freaking love it. I think it looks so good. And I'm like, it really made me want to work again. You know how like sometimes when you revamp your office space or something, you like get more motivated to do well. And so I love that for me because we love moving up the ladder, you know? Uh, da, 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 da. Also, it is cold in my apartment. I need to put a sweatshirt on. And then I'm going to actually set up my, uh, whatchamacallit, my thing this morning and start walking because it's 8.42 right now. I logged on at 8.30. I always get home and log on by 8.30 in the morning, um, which is really nice about working from home. Now I go in every Wednesday, so we need to pick out an outfit for tomorrow also to go into the office. But I've been kind of loving it. And then when I work from home, what I love is I can kind of do a little later of a workout class. Sometimes I do do um, workout classes that are earlier just so I have some time when I get home you know, to like chill out before, or like maybe go on a walk or something before I have to log on. Um, but where, what sweatshirt is this? What sweatshirt is this? Which one is this one? Oh, okay. I'll wear this one. I need to refold all my sweatshirts. I just throw them everywhere. But today I took a 7.30 Pilates class that went until 8.20. It like goes for like 50 minutes. And then right next door is Duncan. So I always get home. I live really close to it. So I get home by 8.30 on the dot. It's really nice. And then I just log on. Pilates, I don't like sweat a ton. Like I sweat some, but not a, a ton. So I just wear my workout outfit all day. I'll probably throw a little makeup on here in a little bit because I have to like show my face at work. Also, I've been using my black chair still and not this one. Uh, so actually, the reason being is this one does not move at all. The reason being is this one does not move back at all. So when you're sitting in it, you're like sitting up straight, you can't like, it back at all and it's kind of not as a comfortable but I'm actually gonna try to use it today because if I don't like it enough I may sell it on Facebook marketplace or something we'll see but let's try to use it today and really give it a chance <laughs> I also put my like pelvic floor pillow on it, which makes it go up way high. That's pretty funny. I guess I could try to not put my pillow on it and see. I don't know, you guys. You guys, they don't know. So we're gonna try this out. See how it goes. It's also very slippery. <laughs> Doesn't have much grip. So let's try it today. We'll give it the old college try. Okay, it on a call and I'm gonna start things. walking. In the app, so. Also, I, I looked it up, no small is 130 calories. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I ended up only walking a little bit because my treadmill started acting all crazy. I tightened the belt. I changed the, like moved the belt over so it was more centered. I oiled the belt. Like I know how to take care of a treadmill and it still st sticks in that one spot. Like it's so tight, it's almost too tight now, but it still sticks. I've made it way looser. Like I've done a little tightening, step on it, still sticks. A little tightening, step on it, still sticks. A little tightening, step on it, still sticks. And reverse, step on it, still sticks. Like I'm like, <sighs> anywho. So I'm gonna have to go outside to, finish up my walking for the day, but we're gonna go, it's one o'clock, I haven't eaten lunch yet. We're gonna go down to get our factor meals. <laughs> 
And I'm gonna bring this down because it hurts my back. Oh my gosh. They actually put it in front of my door. That never happened. Oh my gosh, you guys, that was super nice. They never ever bring it to my door. Wow. Crazy. So we're going to go through our factory meals. It's very annoying. The only thing that I feel is annoying about factory meals is you have to throw away these huge, like you can recycle them, but these huge ice packs that come with them and then like all the stuff inside, like it all is recyclable, but it's just a lot, you know? Anyways, this week, I know, I think I got two and two. So I have two roasted garlic chickens. Yum. And then I think Parmesan. Two creamy Parmesan chickens. These are my favorite. So I'm gonna eat a Parmesan chicken for lunch today. For sure. But these are how big these ice packs are. I'm like, holy moly. And then you have all this stuff. And then the box. And they're like, my goodness gracious. But they're worth it because they're real good. Okay, so this one's really good. It is 620 calories, which could be a little steep for some people for lunch, but whatever. And then 39 grams of protein, which I love. It is one, it's my favorite. I mean, I order, sometimes I order all four of just these because I love them. Put that in that microwave, call it a day. So when I actually put this in my calculator on my fitness pal, it's only 604 calories, which is very interesting. Who knows? Here it is, doesn't look like much, but man, is it good. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, get my nails done. Here are my nails now, they're looking real nasty. Um, so let's go get our nails done and then we'll go on a long walk. I am putting this downstairs on the table, tried something new, my cat was not a fan, free to a new home. <laughs> so putting these down there. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is so nice out. <laughs> also, I was gonna talk to you guys. I think I'm gonna run a series or just start doing on TikTok and Instagram this little skit and I'm gonna start it <laughs> soon, like maybe tomorrow or today because I have to find out what I'm gonna wear to the office tomorrow. But I wanted to say this little thing, you guys are gonna like laugh, but this is what I was thinking. I was gonna say, hey, trying to find, or no boobs, no butt, but I have a gut. Let's try to find something to wear tomorrow. Let's try to find something to wear or whatever. Hi, I'm Sophie, small boobs, no butt, but I have a gut. So let's try to find something to wear to the office tomorrow. My team now has to go back into the office three times a month. I get it, it's not a lot, but all I have is athleisure wear anymore. Work from home since 2020, people. More casual when we don't have crazy meetings with higher ups, but then it's like business casual when we do. I bought this like jean skirt from Abercrombie. I don't like, some people are into this, some people aren't, but I think I'm into it. Tighter than it fit <laughs> a couple weeks ago, but the thing I like about it is it like goes over the gut. <laughs> I was thinking, oh gosh, my makeup, just like a white t-shirt. Different bra, obviously, but you might need a more like fitted shirt, but let's see, let's see where this goes. Either like a brown or black belt. Gosh, I can't get this belt blue. Does anyone else just have that freaking Beyonce song stuck in their head? <laughs> Texas, ain't no whole room. Okay, maybe just some black booties. Something's in my boot. What the? Don't mind my unmade bed. Jewelry, of course. And of course, the good old Amazon purse. What do we think? Let's have a brown option. This is the brown look. Comment down below, brown or black. And if you want any links, let me know. 
Um, and I thought that'd be kind of funny and like catchy and then just start sharing. Cause I get a lot of questions about like my outfits or stuff and I'm horrible at linking. So I don't know how this is going to go, <laughs> but I just was like, I'll just show what I wear every day. Show what I wear working out, show what I wear, whatever. For those girlies like me who don't have big boobs, who don't have a big butt, but they have a gut, you know? And that's our stomach is our problem. Of course, some of these outfits and stuff would still look good on someone with bigger boobs or a butt or whatever. But personally, I have a pancake butt and I don't have boobs. So I thought that'd be funny. Comment down below if you think that'd be funny. Um, I'm just gonna, you know, TikTok and Instagram, I'm better at reels, like posting on there. And then I could try to post them on YouTube also. Um, this just sucks because YouTube, Reels have to be a minute long, but on Instagram and TikTok, well, Instagram, they have to be a minute and a half or less. On TikTok, they can be any amount of time. So it stinks because you can really do longer videos on TikTok, and, but you can't do them like, but then YouTube is so short when it comes to Reels, but then Instagram is a minute and a half, which I feel like a minute and a half is like a perfect time like timing because you get everything in, you can kind of cut things down so it's not annoying, you know, whatever. But a minute is really short. So it's just hard to like get in your personality, get in all the stuff in a minute. Yeah, now, if you even understand what I'm saying, I'm sure you do, I'm sure you get it. But like, if you're a content creator, it's just so annoying that different apps, like also for YouTube, you have to put your camera this way or your phone this way to record. Whereas for Instagram and TikTok and everything, you have to put it this way. So you have to double record if you're trying to like, like me going to get my nails done. I could record like, hey, let's go get our nails done. Let's go, blah, 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 like a little mini vlog. But I have to record it this way to talk to you guys on Facebook or on uh, YouTube, but then record it again this way to do it on Instagram. And it's just annoying. Yeah, Nair? Anyway, um, that's it. That's my rant. <laughs> Here is the after, and now I'm just gonna run to Target really quick and pick up, um, I need like toilet cleaner and like a couple things, but I love this color. So this is called 132, it's just the number. I don't know the actual color or else I'd tell you guys, but it's one of my faves. So when I move in with Tyler, I wanna find two chairs for like this little area in his place. And I'm like, this chair is so perfect. Ooh, or I like this chair. Okay, got the one thing we need. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need one of these. This is, I've been looking for one of these. Okay, yeah. That lady is talking like mad shit about her friend. <laughs> I was cracking up. But anyways, let's get out of here, you guys, before we do anything we regret. <laughs> just out here <laughs> okay we're heading to crumble really quick because my favorite pancake cookie is there so I'm just getting that cookie and I want to see what the mystery cookie is because my boss said she's buying cookies for us tomorrow for work um, and she was like I don't know what the mystery cookie is like I don't want to order it online because she's just doing like a quick online pickup and I was like I'll go in and I'll see because you know I'm a crumble connoisseur <laughs> So, heading to Crumble really quick to check out the cookie situation. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got, guys. All right, but I have to take a bite of cookie with a little of the fake butter. Uh-oh. This is my favorite one, the pancake or the cornbread. Wow. It's just so good. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> okay, so just got home. Let me pull this up a little. Just show you what I got. You guys kind of already saw, but I got one of these. I've always wanted one of these and this was only like 10 bucks. It is a tub and tile scrubber. So you can just go like this instead of having to like get on your hands and knees type deal, which I always do. And then I get like bleach on my knees. It's like a whole thing. So I got that. I got a crumble cookie, as you know. Took a bite with you guys. I found two zucchinis. 
at Target. So this will be dinner. I think I'm gonna make my pizza zucchini bites tonight with a little side salad. You guys, I couldn't find zucchini at two separate Kroger's. What's going on, you know? Um, I grabbed some bubble gum because <laughs> it's just fun. And then I grabbed some more of these chocolate chip cookie dough bites because I put them in, as you know, like my Cool Whip. I'll just put these in and make it like an ice cream. And then I got toilet wand refills and more of these. I'm making Tyler a move-in basket, which I'm not moving in until, oh, and I got a new scrubber. I gotta throw out the other one because it's old and nice. Sorry, old and nasty. So we're gonna replace the old with the new. But, um, so when I move in with Tyler, which isn't until like a couple more months, but I'm kind of collecting things slowly. I'm gonna get him like, make him like a basket of animal friendly things because he's allergic to cats, but he's dealing with it, living with Ollie. Cause I told him Ollie is not up for negotiation. <laughs> he knows, he doesn't care. Um, and so I'm going to make him a little basket that's like move in basket and get him like Zyrtec, these, um, just like a bunch of little stuff. If you have any ideas of like, if you're allergic to cats, what I should get him type thing. And then just like moving in with your partner, any kind of cute gift ideas, put them down below. So I'm getting him that. And then I wanted to show you guys. So I bought some stuff from White Fox Boutique. We'll ha I'll have to try it on later, but, um, Sarah's Day, I don't know if you guys have seen her. She's an Australian influencer. She did a collab with White Fox Boutique and she did a bunch of like activewear and you guys know how I am with activewear, okay? So I bought some stuff a while ago, honestly, and it just came in. A lot of it is like low impact stuff, of course, because you know me. I'm a low impact girly. I bought one fall item, only one, and I just wanted to see it really quick. It's just a black, blah, blah, please, please, blah, blah. It's just a black zip up. I don't have a black, like loose one. I have only a fitted black zip up. It has the Sarah's Day emblem on it. It looked really cute, so let's try it on. See if we like it. They do great on returns, so. If we don't like it, we can always return it. And I just liked how this was like more oversized because I only have like fitted. Ooh, yeah, we like. Nothing like groundbreaking, but it's cute, okay? So we're interested in that. We like that. And then I got this sports bra. I definitely have to try it on to see if it fits well. I grabbed XL in White Fox because it's like an Australian brand and they run small from what I've learned. So grab this. It's like a very lightweight, strappy in the back bra. It looks really, really comfortable. So grab that in an extra large. Again, we'll have to try it on. There are cups and stuff in it that you can take out, I believe. Yeah. So I'll probably take the cups out knowing me. I grabbed this black bra. Again, the reason why I bought, I liked this collection a lot was it's all very like seamless, low impact bras. And you guys know that's me. This one's a little booby, so it's like pretty small and it makes you look like you have more boobs and we love that <laughs> for me. And then it's just square in the back. So we'll try that on. I think I bought, yeah, okay. So I bought this pair of leggings and it doesn't match. I don't think, no, it matches this, okay. So the leggings I bought to match this bra are these ones. This is called the Moonlight color. So many like, 
freaking papers and crap in here. Um, but this is cute color. It's like a seamless fabric. It says White Fox S F W F S D. And these are cute. These might be a little big. I didn't mean to get extra large in leggings, but it'll be fine. You know how like this type of stuff is like, it's really not that big a deal. I grabbed the same leggings, but in this color, it was the dreamy color. Same thing, White Fox Thursday. Are these the same size? Yeah. I have to size up in that Australian sizing. <laughs> But it's the seamless fabric. And then last but not least, I wanted this bra in white, but it was already sold out like two seconds after it went onto the site. So I would probably take the cups out of this too, but this one is just like a ribbed square neck. Again, it says White Fox, Sarah's Day. It's just square. I thought that would be really cute. So we will be trying that all on, but I just like bought things that match. This is supposed to match. Of course, these are two different fabrics, so they match, but not like perfectly, but that's okay. And then these are the same exact fabric, so these match perfect. Just a black bra, because we always like a basic. And then our big Jaqueta, which we love. And they give you like this white fox bag, which is nice. So we'll have to use that for something. But yeah, anyways, that's the haul. Now I'm going to hang out for a little bit and then probably go on a walk before we make dinner. So this, this is like a contradictory outfit, <laughs> but I'm gonna go on a walk. I'm going outside, it's, it's like 7.30. I haven't eaten dinner yet, but I feel like Okay, I have so much black under my eyes. I feel like going on like a long walk and I have my watch on. It doesn't like link or sync anymore to my phone, but I wanted to track my watch miles compared to my ring miles once it tells me like, oh, did you like work out today? And just compare it. So here we go. Probably could have worn pants, but it's fine. <laughs> Look how pretty it is out. I love it. Oh my gosh, this weather, you guys, is just making my day. Okay, just got in from our walk. We did 2.1 miles, and we are going to make some dinner. So I am gonna make some zucchini pizza bites, and then I think I'm gonna have just a Greek side salad or a Caesar side salad, I can't decide. Want, but I know that this lettuce is like one second away from a bad moment, you know? So we need to get that done. So get our stuff out. Where are our pepperoncinis? Are there? So let's make this. So if you haven't seen me make this before, all I do are cut these up into small little circles and then I add pizza sauce a pepperoni and some cheese and that's it like you can add obviously a lot more oh and i put a little onion powder on it <laughs> i'll show you okay first i'm just gonna check this lettuce like are we good here i don't know <laughs> so let's put this in here okay looks decent okay so here are the only ingredients i use for my zucchini just the mozzarella, cheese, whatever you want to use. I just use a fourth a cup. It's 80 calories. I can use more than that, actually. I'm going to see how much I want to use. I swear, these dang things, they don't ever open right. Oh, jeez Louise. We'll have to put the cheese on here, but... I'm kind of thinking I'll do this sauce on the side, but maybe we'll put a little bit on it. I basically just cut this up. And then I do pretty thin slices because I don't want them to take forever versus like the cheese and everything to melt. And 
we'll see here. I'll just go ahead and put them in here. Not super, super thin, you know, but pretty decently thin. And then I'm just going to do some of this. We'll just see how many grams I end up using. Just do a little dollop on each. Okay. And then I put the pepperoni on it next. So I'm only gonna use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pepperonis. Italian seasoning would be really good on this, but I have oregano, so I'm gonna put that on there too. But next, so I use 13 grams of pizza sauce so far. And then I'm going to do like a side of it also. So how much is like a full serving? Okay. So that'll be like a full serving all together. I'll heat that up. Then we're gonna put our cheese on here. And 28 grams is one serving. So we might do one or two, depends. I don't know if this cheese will work the best. But we're gonna try. It's like really long cheese. Mm. Okay, Maybe just a tiny bit more for this one. And I'm just gonna take some onion powder, sprinkle, and oregano. I should probably do oregano after, but whatever, guys. Okay, air fryer. And I just put it at 400 degrees for however long. I always start it at 20 minutes. It doesn't take 20 minutes, but. Then for our salad, let's actually put this back on here. Turn this on. First we'll do feta since we need to measure. One serving of this reduced fat feta is 28 grams. So have it on grams. That's 28. It's a good amount. Then pepperoncinis are zero, so you know, they're like five calories for like 20,000 of them, so I don't count them. Uh, the oyster crackers for like my croutons, and I just look at 15 grams, so I'll even this out, and then I'll do 15 grams, because that usually gives me more than counting them out. There we go. Tear it out again. We'll do one serving of the Greek dressing, which one serving is 31 grams. Like that's only 22 grams and I don't even know. There we go. Perfect. I think these are done. Don't they look so good? Yum. And I just need to get these off of here somehow. Oh, I don't know if the zucchini's done. I should have uh, cooked the zucchini longer. That's what I did last time, dang it. So last time I put the zucchini in there longer, like first and cooked it for a little while and then put the topping. So I'm gonna put it back in. I downed the temperature to like 350, so we'll just let it go for a little bit. Dang it! Okay, I did like five more minutes and they look great. So, salad, this, little extra dipping sauce, 
whoops, and then maybe a little parm on top. Oh yeah. This is only 360 calories. These are 190 calories with these turkey pepperonis, that tiny bit of sauce and the cheese. Like, are you kidding? 360 calories, yo. Yum. I'm about to rent, to rent the movie, Anyone But You. I didn't want to see it in theaters because I heard it wasn't like great, but to rent it, it's only like four bucks. And then I think I'm just gonna have, uh, I'm really not good at my protein anymore, you guys. I think I'm gonna do a protein shake for dessert because I'm not hungry, but I need more protein. 20 grams, 140 calories. And that should be it for my night. Well, Anyone But You was not a good movie. It was like, very cheesy. It wasn't like horrible, but it was like just very cheesy. Not a very good rom-com. Like I won't watch it again, probably. It's not like, you know, other rom-coms where you're like, oh, I'll watch that again and again and again. Like so cute love. It's like, oh, the acting wasn't great. But that's it for today's video, you guys. Um, I'm going to bed now. I love you guys so much. I'll put over here the end of the calories and everything. I think I ended up at like 15 or 16 something. I forget. But it ended up fine. I really need to work on my protein. That's my biggest thing. I only got like 80 grams, 86 grams of protein today. Like Monday and Tuesday did not go well. But anyways... I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.